life in prison. The man convicted of killing a co-worker sentenced. And I feel railroaded. I've been run over multiple times in this courtroom. Tonight, the victim's family speaks out, calling him a monster. A convicted killer, unapologetic, defiant, and for the first time speaking out. David Dooley sentenced today to life in prison for murdering his co-worker, Michelle Mockby. And good evening, I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Sheree Palello. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick has been leading the way on this story since the murder two and a half years ago. He's live for us outside the courthouse tonight in Burlington, Kentucky. Brian? Yes, Sheree. Well, David Dooley spoke publicly for the first time today. Now, generally, the court wants to see some sign of remorse. That did not come from Dooley. In fact, he said he felt he had been cheated in this, and he continues to fight his conviction. David Dooley entered the courtroom with no intention of making an apology. Instead, close to the opposite. Courtroom is divided between the people who know I didn't do it and the people who think I did. And staring down the victim's family did not go well with Judge J.R. Schrand. Dooley continued and made a commitment. I do not know what happened. All I know is that I did not kill Michelle Mockby, and I stand by that. And I will continue to fight no matter what happens here today. Dooley was convicted of murdering Michelle Mockby at the Thermo Fisher Scientific Plant in May of 2012. And after Dooley had his say, it was Mockby's sister's turn. If David Dooley had any compassion in his body at all, he would admit to us and to everyone that he committed this horrible crime. But he's a coward, and he will continue to hide behind his lies. Jennifer Schneider said she had no doubt that Dooley is the killer and blames him for their loss. Her family and everyone who loved her suffered a tremendous loss when she was selfishly, brutally taken away from us. Judge Schrand followed the jury's recommendation, sentencing Dooley to life in prison, running at the same time as a five-year sentence for tampering with evidence. And while it was the last day of the case, it won't be the final day in court for David Dooley. He already plans to appeal. And Dooley's already hired an attorney for that appeal, Deanna Dennison. There's also a wrongful death suit against Dooley. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. Brian, thank you. David Dooley now has 30 days to make that appeal.